Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is again going to be from Starcon. Oh, look at this SCV going the wrong way. Artosis. Bad luck. Or maybe tournament nerves to start needs the. Yeah, actually, he mentioned this on stream that he had to do a lot of breathing exercises uh, to lower that adrenaline. Bottom left hand corner, he's starting as the yellow turn. Bottom right hand corner, we have Nesh, who's gone very, very deep. And this is going to be an epic TVT. Either of these guys could take it if you haven't already had the spoilers from the main Artosis cast streams. If you're looking for those spoilers, by the way, in the description link is where they are. You might have to cycle back a few videos, but that's where they are. This is the lower bracket Neo Sylphid round. So we're back on to Neo Sylphid. I really like the map pool they actually had. <clears throat> Gonna give a shout out to Esky, SC2 in the meantime, because he's an awesome dude. That's just gonna end up on YouTube. That's the way it is. Anyway, also some people have been complaining here and there about the color swap. Unfortunately, these were not played in a top versus bottom fashion, so color swap just ends up being yellow versus yellow. Apologies for that. It's just the way it is. Both players going to build an interior base, supply depot to start, but I, both these guys tend to be more macro oriented players. I feel like Artosis is unbelievably sharp in the early game macro. He's really, really strong in the first 15 minutes. He just hits that those build orders time and time and time again and is really sharp on them. If Nesh can take it to a much longer game, which might be challenging on Neo Sylphid, if he can move it to like the five base, like later stages, he might actually be able to get the better of Artosis because there's a, there are moments in mid game of Artosis's play where he gets, where he can end up overly focused on troop movement and attacking his opponent and doesn't find those opportunities to sneak back and macro up and get to the higher supply counts. Nesh is very, very good at doing that in late stages. So my prediction is, and unfortunately for Nesh, Neo Sulfid tends to be a little bit more of a rapid play map. Both players building that barracks along the wall, which I assume are going to float out and end up at nearest spot into, into each other's base. The question will be how many Marines are produced initially. The first SCV scout for Nesh moving out is going to end up seeing Artosis' space. So anyway, the prediction for me goes, if this is sub 25 minutes, I think Artosis ends up with the advantage. If it ends up extending past, I don't know, 32 minutes, I could see Nesh sweeping it around and pulling it out. We'll have to see though. First Marine being constructed, we have a second supply depot along that corner. I am wondering if this is going to be, so we've got gas, but no factory as of just yet. Okay, there the factory being dropped. Nesh not confirming the factory. Yeah, sneaking back in to make sure he's going to get eyes on it, getting some damage done. Now confirming that factory. Loses the SCV for it, though. In the meantime, Nesh has a single Marine. He is building a second Marine as well. That's going to... He does have his factory underway. Early game TVT is just... There's so many build orders. So many build orders. This SCV going to be able to walk right by it. But there is a second Marine to potentially take out the second SCV. Nesh is grouping additional materials here. We've got a second factory plopped down for Artosis, but no second factory as of yet. And that SCV able to scout all the way around. So Nesh looks like he wants to go factory into expand, might need to get a bunker down on the front. And let's see if Artosis is able to exploit that. Could be early game economic advantages, potentially, but three factory vulture has been very, very punishing towards this style of play as of late. And this, I forgot to mention that, that Nesh has been out of the meta for about a year. And honestly, TVT might have been the matchup that shifted the most in that period of time. So might end up a little bit behind. Is able to pick off that SCV to start. He's got that first Vulture. Vulture for Artosis making its way forward. The earlier damage on the Marine might prevent Artosis from getting too aggressive as long as he recognizes it's even numbers and we see Artosis off the two factories pumping a lot of vultures to start. Machine shop has dropped for Nesh. We have no bunker as of yet but we do have three marines on the front. This barracks going to float for Artosis and see the troop complement and that bunker in construction and Nesh actually keeping the barracks nearby and letting it be a little bit more defensive. That's going to drop information later on but it will allow him to see those forward troop counts as they arrive. Vulture picking off one Marine before it's able to get into the bunker. Second Marine down and third Marine. So the bunker complete, but no Marines able to defend. And that is going to assist Artosis down the line for maybe doing some run-bys. He's now moving up. There's only a single Vulture to help defend. 
And keep in mind that machine shop was dropped, so there's not a lot of additional defense. So picking off everything on the front, SCVs are going to have to defend themselves for a while. This is a big opportunity for Artosis to run through and get some SCV kills. The SCV scattering back, however, and Artosis focusing on the bunker rather than the SCVs right this second. Marines dying as they're making their way out, but SCVs plus siege tanks means that this should get cleaned up. Pulling back, but wow, Nash took heavy, heavy losses as a result of this. Artosis doing massive amount of damage, retreating the two Marines. He is going to be able to get that done for free. That second command center is up much earlier. So that is going to be double SCV production from Nash, which should allow him to catch up. Potentially. But Artosis doing the damage he needed to do up four SCVs. I'm curious, actually, we're going to count this. How many SCVs can get constructed in a superior fashion, in a more rapid fashion, I should say, as far as a follow-up. Looks like we do have a Wraith making its way out. To I think primarily to scout, maybe not to do economic damage here. We do have some Goliaths, although they're somewhat out of position. We have three Goliaths on the front, no Goliaths in the main as of yet. So the Wraith going to try to poke away at a supply depot, maybe force a supply cap right there on Artosis. And actually that is going to successfully get a supply cap. Artos is drawing all of his forces back. So nice delay here. A Goliath looking to hang out on the exit path of this race. So maybe engage it. And if Nesh tries to retreat it all the way, can make plays from there. Natural expansion still a ways from completing and Nesh off the double base production and the three SCV kills from this Wraith able to get the worker count lead. And now drawing back and he's, yeah, that's clever on Artosis's part. He's drawing this Goliath to the south, but Nash very carefully taking the most southerly route. Barracks has taken heavy damage. It's going to go ahead and float its way back out. And two additional fact, sorry, an additional factory and a drop, no, an additional wraith being constructed on the front. Single siege tank out for Nash. As soon as you have a single siege tank out for Artosis, the siege tank count as far as the follow-up in the mid game can be a really big factor as far as who can get forward aggressive uh, what do I want to call it? Map control? The in initial siege lines. Artosis right now with a larger army. And a few marines to go ahead and provide some additional scouting. But I'm not sure if Artosis... I think he might have siege tech out. Dropping double comps had to get eyes on what Nesh is up to. And the barracks going to float off for Nesh here. I'm wondering if a second machine shop is going to get dropped as well. We have vulture speed, but not a lot of vultures. The wraith going all the way around for Nesh. Maybe to skirt... The Goliath once again, maybe get some additional damage, and he's also upgrading Cloak. That's very costly. And we'll cut into the early siege, can uh, siege tank count, and with this open gap right here, playing a bit of a risk that Artosis wasn't going to go up to three factory and play a little bit more Vulture Heavy. He is attacking on a third factory right now. He's got the double machine shop, which is allowing him to have a larger siege tank count now in the mid-game. I like the forward spotting as well for Artosis right this second. So Nesh with a slight worker lead. Artosis might have to absorb a dropship, and Nesh playing very aggressive. This is very on, on point for Nesh to play it where it's, okay, he's got, what, two siege tanks in his main? Is just now adding that third factory. Has a handful of Wraith. Is going to find some Marines. And do some damage there. Nesh going to go, yeah, expanding leaving very light defenses at his main and just getting aggressive and allowing his aggression to try to be the difference here. Two Goliaths in the main with the Siege Tank for Artosis though, so I'm not sure how much damage this is going to get done. It's going to take some nice micro. One Vulture landing, second Vulture. All the Vultures get out as well as the Dropship. They are able to stop that SCV right there, so two SCV kills, but pretty quickly cleaned up otherwise by Artosis. Smelled it coming as far as the follow-up to the Wraith, maybe because of the Nyokin games. You guys did not catch that on the main screen. Siege Tank's moving out with the Goliath. Cloak is finished. But will Nesh cloak in time? Does cloak in time. Now gets the barracks. Comsat. Oh, Wraith are able to sneak out right there. But this is a pretty sizable attack force from Artosis out on the forward front. So Nesh going to have to rely on high ground and honestly Artosis playing a little bit more defensive to make sure that this third get base gets up. This is a very rapid third base. In the meantime, we got five vultures there. 
and not a lot of siege tanks to defend the natural expansion or the main. So this is going to be very, very threatening. Sizable army. Comsat sees the three siege tanks there. Does he recognize that there's a pocket opportunity to dive at the natural? Looks like so. The race spotting it and nothing defending. And now Nesh going to take a heavy amount of damage. And if he evacuates that three interior three o'clock, there's also the siege tanks and Goliaths waiting to go ahead and punish that. So the siege tanks remain. The remaining unseaged, Artos is going to move in. So while that was cleaned up on the low ground, siege tanks getting some damage done and attacking at the near side. Fortunately, Artosis didn't bring that army all the way up for Nesh, but he's still going to have to left this up. He's behind on resources, or sorry, behind on workers overall now, trying to sneak a 12 o'clock base on top of it. Nesh playing very, very risky here. Economically aggressive and very risky. And that fourth, if he can get this fourth up and running, he once again might be able to get that worker lead, but right now Artosis, a siege tank on the low ground, has Nesh encapsulated on three bases, so Nesh is going to need to, first of all, evict these siege tanks at the three o'clock, losing the Ford Wraith for spotting to do so. Yeah, I don't think he has any comsat behind this either. Might want to move that dropship forward. Superior siege tanks for Artosis attacking this command center. Nesh trying to sneak something in between, but Artosis right there to engage the attempt to skirt by. Siege tanks still holding at the three o'clock, but massive damage. And Artosis continuing to press in and box Nesh into that natural expansion. The siege tanks moving to low ground to make sure that there isn't a stranglehold. But man, three siege tanks to the south, three to the north still. And Nesh reel him down a lot of army and at strong risk of getting... Of eating a massive damage. Another factory being built at the 12 o'clock location. I'm not sure if that's going to get scattered or not. Nesh now needs to compile a sizable army. He's got two machine shops, a factory, and a starport to do it. In the meantime, Artosis tacking on two additional factories. He's already got another factory on top of this, so I think he just wants to crawl in and end the game through superior forces here. He's going to go ahead and he's already grabbed that third at the nine o'clock location. Nesh is not mining at the inside three. He's not mining at the 12, so this is an equalized economy. Nesh needs to land something and get those workers out there to really make this happen, but he's got these three siege tanks to the north denying a lot of territory there. I don't know if the dropship is nearby. The dropship moving out, so rather than dropping on the siege tanks to the north, Nesh taking a big risk and looking to go for a drop back in Artosis's main and hope that he's just moving all of those troops out of position. Unfortunately, there is a single Goliath waiting there. And do only... Yeah, and a, si a siege tank waiting as well. So that's completely repelled. I think the mines to the south might have scouted that overall. Some Wraith cleaning up the siege tanks to the north finally. However, all this time, Nesh hasn't been mining. He's been behind on factories. And he still has the siege tanks out to his main that are just annihilating troops that are trying to reinforce to his three o'clock position. So Net, uh, so Artosis with some nice positioning here, more vultures making their way forward. And despite having more bases, effectively Artosis has got superior mining because he's got better saturation at that nine o'clock. This in interior three still denied and Artosis still crawling forward. Nesh has still has no defenses at his natural and Artosis is going to punish him for it. So nice comsat revealing that. More siege tanks trying to make their way, but they're going to be moving into an inferior siege position and these vultures might be able to sneak right underneath the siege line. Some vultures making their way up. There's no Goliath here, but that's a single rate. That's going to take an extremely long period of time. And now Nash effectively down to, I don't, I want to call it a base and a half here because his natural expansion no longer mining. The 12 o'clock is mining with just five SCVs. The interior three is building SCVs to mine on point. You can't reinforce up to the three o'clock. Goliaths are being, or sorry, Wraith are being utilized to try to clear out those siege tanks, but a Goliath or two on the forward position should clear that out. So now two Goliaths here. The Wraith don't have enough energy to really make this as punishing as they want, to, want it to be. They're going to try to dodge in and out as best they can, but Nesh for falling further and further behind, and now Artos is grabbing yet another base, being clinical about the early game pressure. 20 supply lead now for Artosis. 12 o'clock base has been scouted. A Vulture clearing out damage here. A siege tank building. It's going to be, honestly, this entire SCV line should be gone. That's completely exposed. And Artosis can really just send a single siege tank up here. It looks like he's just going to send uh, 
barrage of vultures. And that should clean it up. Nice defense by the SCV, though. Like seeing the battle SCV get the kill there. But this is still a denied natural expansion. A mostly... A, a very thin and pseudo-denied interior 3 because SCVs can't get past the siege lines to make it there. And now that 12 o'clock getting shut down. So Nesh looks like he's just going to end up getting overwhelmed. Reinforcing with the dropship to try to save this 12 o'clock. But Goliath's moving up. They're going to catch the two siege tanks in the dropship. Never mind. They drop it. A mine takes out what remains. So now the 12 o'clock gone. And with that, Nesh going to GG. Just wasn't going to be able to economically keep up with Artosis. So Artosis continues in the lower bracket. Nesh is eliminated, but had a great run, honestly, all things considered. I really want Nesh. You guys see Nesh around? Pester him to uh, get in BSL, because performed extremely well, in my opinion, considering everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.